Okay, let's try my luck this afternoon. Uh, let's see what's going on this afternoon, if I can play it at all. I think I'm recording too much of the uh, screen area. I've just realized I'm recording the whole top of this. Not needed. Oh well. I'll bring this up a bit so the board isn't cut off. Um, what have I done on the board? <laughs> I should actually watch the chessboard. I think that might help here. It's a kind of Alvin counter gambit gone wrong. Uh, where well, white has access to the light squares. Uh, can I play h6? Uh, if I play h6, then um, follow up with g5 and bishop g7, uh, maybe. Because uh, I can't see what else to do with this bishop here. It would be useful to try and regain. This pawn and maybe threaten g4 actually now that h3 has been uh, offered. Uh, but it's a shame about the recording here. I hope this is actually viewable uh, a little bit. Uh, g4 was actually, actually, actually g4 there. Oh, would have been interesting. Okay, okay. Maybe still g4. There could be something going for this setup. Um, on this white is already putting pressure on d4 and it's just my luck at the wrong time uh, d4 is now under pressure okay I can still maybe play okay bishop d7 draw and win d4 pawn or bishop e6 maybe bishop e6 to try and play rook d8 or castle or queen c5 maybe queen c5 here now I'm in big trouble. Um, that's a real shame. Can I do this to react to ninety four with ninety four? Uh, if it takes, then I'm hitting the queen. She takes. I'm hitting the queen. Uh, this has all gone wrong. Okay, so. Ah, it's all gone wrong. No, no, okay. Try and be positive about it. Uh, maybe f6, just f6 and, and cover the losses. Just just offer that that pawn to get my, my pieces kind of developed. Get my pieces out of the box here in castle. That would be nice. Uh, I suppose e6 is looking very winning here almost takes I have to move my king to protect this rook uh, it would be nice to be able to castle uh, pain is probably going to get worse ok roll I get to castle and lose another pawn a pooling Gambit gone wrong. I should have just played the King's Engine or the Slav. I think I'm going to try and stick to the Slav more and more because you, you can get a fun game from the Slav, as demonstrated by many uh, Master Games recently, and it saves a lot of um, embarrassment like this uh, with this silly Gambit going wrong all the time today. But anyway, okay, so Rook C8, Knight F4. There, there is dynamic ways of playing Slav. It's not just. Uh, Dull and boring. Okay. Uh, is she really going to go for this uh, self pin? Possibly. Okay. Uh, rook c8 here, I guess. Under the circumstances, uh, seems a reasonable idea. Anyway, I've got a minute advantage here. Uh, if that helps, I have four now. Maybe try and get another pin. Okay, so it's not totally uh, without um, chances. Uh, well, that's getting that way. So King, what about King H8? Just to make sure that or um, uh, we'll C5. Or Rook D8. There seems to be a lot of pressure on D4 here. Why not just Rook D8? I suppose there's Knight F5. 
Knight f5 is a big point. Queen f6. I don't know. Why, why is this pressure allowed? So queen queen f6 here. Wouldn't I be attacking the queen still? And the knight? I hope I hope this is a blunder. But I'm embarrassed by this game. I, I sh I'm going to start playing the Slav after this game. At least I want to try and play the Slav as a replacement for the Alpine counter gambit in the next few days. And I don't think it's going to be as embarrassing. I'll try and play the Slav aggressively. But if you start from a solid base, I think the room for embarrassment is uh, sometimes less. These gambits are okay. I think three minute chess, two minute chess, bullet chess, about five minute. I'm just, I'm just getting done over so badly. Now takes e7, rook d5 is possible. So I think I, I can. Okay, may, maybe. Uh, um, there's there's going to be knight e3, I guess. But uh, this is this is better than earlier. Okay, so knight e3. Uh, much better than earlier. Things have really picked up here. Um, I just need to um, maybe play queen queen d7 there, and then try and get the queens off there. Okay, that's not being allowed. Um, my queen queen f7 is is possible, but this I'm getting into a nasty pin here. Um, maybe bishop d4 after to, against rook d1 and rook d8. Bishop d4 might be possible, and that's on f2. So I do wonder about bishop d4 here. I hope that's not a total uh, disaster just yet. If I can support with c5, I might actually threaten queen e7 as well. So c5, and there's rook f2. That's interesting. <clears throat> okay, so c5, is that plausible? So if there's any g3, ah, that's really, really annoying. Um, okay. Um, I have got time for queen e7, surely, just to make sure this pawn isn't the menace. Um, maybe bishop c5, rook d8, I've got rook f8, there's no rook e1 just yet. So is this worth trying? I hope it's worth trying, because I'm controlling e1. So rook d8, rook f8. Uh, actually I'm controlling f8, so bishop g6, I'm protecting f8. And the time situation is looking very nice. So I think I've sorted out some problems here. Two bishops versus the rook. It's not too bad, although rook c1 is going to be a pain. Uh, we're getting the, uh, maybe not. I was just thinking a rook could come over, but uh, maybe not. Okay, I'm controlling e8, so I'm hoping this is uh, safe enough. Okay, now taking here is um, this is, is, is uh, seems reasonable. Okay, uh, I don't want to loosen my my uh, a seven pawn. If I get the king over. A6 for bishop c4. If I just make sure I can get my king over, I could have taken a5 just then. I can protect this now. I can take on here. Alright, so I've got that past pawn.
Try and push this past Paul. That was a very um, unfortunate game, which I'm not pleased with at all. And I, I think I wasn't paying attention when the second move was played, because this is worse than an Albin Kells game. It, I usually get horrible positions, actually even in three minute chess on chess cube, because it's basically weakening all the light squares uh, in this position. All the light squares are weakened, and I find that horrific. Positionally, um, this is horrific position where these pawns are not doing anything, it's blocking in the bishop, pawn down. So I'm trying to make some justification, but um, it seems in this position I, I've been given g4 as a target, but the sense of urgency is there for the opponent to undermine d4 here and give a nice, you know, knight d4 as soon as um, I play uh, for g4. Because uh, here, knight d4. Maybe taking first, then knight d4, and this is just horrendous. I don't know how I survived this. Uh, some sort of um, miracle occurred here. Uh, piece blunder. Okay, maybe that's typical of five minute chess. Um, then I had some chance to get back in the game. Okay, Slav defense, here we come. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.